Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 CPs. Today I am swatching for you the new limited edition 100 acre wood collection inspired by Christopher Robin by Glam Collish. And I'm super excited about it because all of the polishes are super fun and like named appropriately, all Winnie the Pooh inspired, and I'm just really enjoying it. This collection will be releasing Friday, February 1st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and there will be some like promo deals, so we're gonna talk about that at the end, but here is a look at all of the polishes, bottle-wise, and then we're gonna get into swatching them because this is a six-piece collection that is just really fun. And then in addition to the pictures of swatches and all that good stuff, on the blog today, there will also be some Winnie the Pooh inspired nail art. So you're gonna wanna head over there after this video. First up, we have Silly Old Bear, which is exactly what you would expect. It is like a pastel yellow, which is perfect for Winnie the Pooh. There is one coat. This does go on rather sheer as you can see, but it's gonna build up in a fairly nice amount of time. And it's going to be so worth it because it has a scattered holographic micro glitter in there. But then it also has a really pretty, almost like a red shimmery sheen. So it kind of pulls in the whole t-shirt that Pooh Bear wears. And I think that's just super fun. So there is one. Here is our second coat, which as you can see, does definitely make it look more yellow on the nail. This one, I would definitely, is going to, bleh, let me restart that. This one I would definitely say is about a three coater because of the opacity of in two coats. I don't feel like no matter how faint your nail line is, I feel like you're still gonna see through a bit. So I feel like you definitely need three coats. But there is two. Now it is time for our third and final coat and you will be seeing a swatch here on the side that also features three coats. It does definitely even out after you've applied the polish so there is three full coats of Silly Old Bear and I feel like this is like the perfect Winnie the Pooh color. I love it. It's so fun. Next up we have the wonderful things about Tiggers. And this is exactly as you would expect it. It's a tiggery orange that has a really warm glow to it in the shimmer category. And then, like the last one, it does have a scattered holographic micro glitter as well, which I think I want to say most all of these polishes actually have that. I think there's only one that's like different than the rest, if that makes any sense. So there are a total of six polishes, and I would definitely. I would definitely say that five of them have very similar formulas and like finishes. The final one that we are going to show you definitely is different and stands out differently. So that is what I mean by this one is similar to most of them. So there is one coat, but we are going to go ahead and put on our second coat now. And this one applies like this one's really close in two coats because it does even out it like self levels as you let it dry but I do feel like it does need a third coat so we are going to do that in just a moment. Next up is our final coat and this is coat number three and like I said this will self level and there is I feel like it looks patchy back here but it's not which is the strange part. There is three coats and on the side here, the picture you're seeing is also with three coats. I'm not sure why this looks patchy on camera because it's not in real life, but there it is. Next up we have what to do, what to do, what to do, which is a really pretty kind of a sky blue that has a very, very nice glow to it. I want to say it is almost a goldeny glow, but then also in some angles you get like this nice grass green and it is just really a lovely polish. And like I mentioned in the last one, this does have a scattered holographic micro glitter in it as well. So there is one coat of what to do, what to do, what to do. Now it is time for our third and final coat. And I probably should have waited a teeny bit longer for that one's third coat. But this one is covered completely in three coats. And what you are seeing on the side is in three coats. The little mishap on the side was because I didn't wait long enough. Apparently my room is colder than I'm used to for drying time. 
Now here we have just an average Wednesday morning and this is definitely what I would call an Eeyore shade. It's kind of a blue gray shade, definitely a gray base and then this one has like an electric blue shimmer in it that looks amazing and you totally get the whole Eeyore feel from this one. Here is our second coat which like the others it gets you close, but not completely covered. So we are gonna need a third coat after the second one is dry. Now here is our third and final coat, which definitely brings us to full coverage, obviously. Otherwise, it wouldn't be our final coat. But there is three coats, and you are also seeing a picture on the side that has three coats. I feel like this polish is super fun and very Eeyore-like, and I just think that is great. Next up we have Oh Dear, which is the perfect piglet pink. And this one has a very warm glow to it as well, along with the scattered holographic micro glitter. I would say that the shimmer here is definitely an orangey tone shimmer, but then here and there you do get a glimpse of like a gold green shade. Second coat of Oh Dear. Definitely needs a third coat, but it does go on so nicely. Now it is time for our third and final coat of Oh Dear, and we have the perfect piglet pink coverage. <laughs> so there is three coats. Next up we have Heffalumps and Woozles, and this one is like a Crelly-like formula, so we kind of have a creamy off-white base. However, there is a lot of shimmer going on here as well, and you can see various different micro glitters. So I'm kind of just Applying the first coat, as you can see, it's kind of a little like weak right there in the middle, but that's going to build up no time. This shimmer is a strong warm shimmer where it's definitely mainly on the orange side. It'll only golden every now and then depending on your angle. And then glitter-wise, we've got a little bit of everything color-wise. We've got a lot of silver holographic micro glitters. We've got some bigger micro glitters that range from cobalt to purple to red. Then of course we have some of the smaller ones that are about the same colors and I want to say there's even almost like a tealish green micro glitter in there as well. And of course there is a touch of yellow and there's just a little bit of everything as I mentioned earlier and I feel like this one is just super fun. Now we have our third and final coat, which I feel like this really gives it a neat, milky, crelly-like look, and you get like the last batch of really good glitters distributed nicely. And there is your three final coats of Heffalumps and Woozles. And here's your final look at the 100 Acre Wood Collection. I think it is really pretty. The polishes go perfectly with their, with their names, and I'm just... I'm really enjoying it. I think it is so fun that it was inspired by the Christopher Robin movie and it really just has a great overall Winnie the Pooh feeling. So these are releasing Friday, February 1st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I will have the link to the Glam Polish website below so you guys can head over there as well as a link to today's blog post that features all of everything we covered here plus extra pictures and some nail art. If you buy this full collection within the first 48 hours of the release you will be able to save 10% and there's going to be a special offer the first 65 orders over $60 during this launch because this is actually launching with another collection as well they will receive a free limited edition mystery polish as well to go along with what they have purchased for $60 so I think I've covered everything if there is anything that I may have left out or you want to know additionally to what I have shared with you or that you found on the blog post, be sure to comment down below and I will be sure to get back with you as soon as possible. And I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these polishes swatched. I feel like it's a really fun collection and I'm just really excited to see what you guys think of the polishes as well. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.